Hello everyone, my name is Ali A and welcome to the official release dates and information for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 DLC, the 9 month period starting in January uh, which actually kicked off yesterday for Xbox paid Call of Duty Elite subscribers on the 24th which saw both the PRs and, and uh, Liberation maps come out and will then go all the way through to September. For all of the guys that aren't on Xbox and aren't paying for the Call of Duty Elite subscription service, I'll talk about you guys later on in the video because uh, the information can you guys is vague at the moment but I will cover that later on so talking about the information we know for certain at the moment and having a look at the official website here on screen we'll be kicking it off with 20 pieces of total DLC which I've mentioned in my videos beforehand but we now know that there's going to be 12 multiplayer maps six special special ops mission modes and two new brand new game modes which is awesome um, taking a look on screen here you can check out the uh, link in the description of the video if you wish to check it out yourself as well we can see how this is going to be breaking down over the nine month period February's only going to see one piece of DLC which is disappointing and we already know what it is pretty much um, do note at the bottom here it says content and release dates are subject to change I'll talk about that in a second but um, for February and March you can see it's going to be one brand new multiplayer map for each of those months. We pretty much know what they are already, I've already covered that on my channel. It's the Overwatch map, we've actually seen um, previews of that map already within the Call of Duty trailers so we know that one's coming at some point and also the one which was called Morning Wood. Its name is probably going to be changed for the final game um, but that's its sort of code name at the moment. If you wish to check out those uh, two new maps you can find them on my channel elsewhere. Um, so those are going be the maps we'll be finding in February and March and then of course throughout the months we'll be seeing brand new mission modes which is actually not special ops survival mode that will come with the multiplayer maps anyway and I'll be covering those with each multiplayer map as they come out as well planning on covering Piazza and Liberation as soon as I can I really look forward to covering those maps as well um, but the mission modes uh, they're very very short normally only around uh, anywhere between 30 seconds if it's a really quick uh, time trial ones anywhere up to around 10 minutes for the longer mission modes and they normally link into single player uh, so whether or not they'll add another another side to single player sort of additional information to add on to the storyline or if there'll just be more sections taken from single player and added into mission mode is un uncertain at the moment uh, but it should be fun nonetheless and then two new game modes which we'll see towards the end of the DLC timeline one in June and one in August likelihood is they aren't going to be game modes we've already found within the private matches uh, because they're technically not brand new hopefully these are game modes we've never seen before and uh, should be really awesome for Modern Warfare 3 mode player definitely mix it up towards the end when the game's getting a bit a little bit old sort of around the summertime here and uh, we're looking forward to Black Ops 2 whatever the next Call of Duty may be new game modes definitely will help to mix it up a little bit so this has been the official timeline DLC for those of you guys on Xbox paying for Call of Duty Elite and uh, let me explain why those guys are getting it earlier uh, Microsoft and Activision have a um, contract together which means they get all of the DLC before everyone else and in previous times for previous Call of Duties it's been a month difference Be but because of the way that this has been structured and the way that they've split it up into 20 pieces of DLC um, it's different so let me explain they're going to be putting it all of these 20 pieces of DLC into four or five map packs so these are the traditional map packs we're used to seeing um, they're going to be say for example the first two maps here the second map here and one of the mission modes and then the next map pack will be the second uh, third and fourth map here all thrown together into a second map pack and they'll do that for all the pieces of DLC and make them available for all of the guys that aren't paying for the elite elite premium subscription um, and we have confirmation that that will be coming the first map pack in March for the normal guys on Xbox so the guys on Xbox that aren't paying for premium um, Call of Duty Elite premium uh, in March time and it will cost $15 that's the, tr the traditional price we're used to seeing for the map pack however it's very late and they haven't confirmed when it will be coming to everyone else they haven't even confirmed when it will be coming to PS3 Call of Duty Elite subscribers which is very unfortunate but um, we can say that the Call of Duty Elite subscribers on PS3 will be getting this exact same layout just structured around a month or two later um, the map packs are basically just for the guys that want to pay for it separately um, outside of Call of Duty Elite uh, that will be an option for you guys so hopefully this has cleared some stuff up another thing I do want to cover actually a question I get a lot is if you buy the Call of Duty Elite premium membership say in April will you get everything before that yes you will if you go and buy the Call of Duty Elite subscription service say in 
um, September or November time, so around a year year's time, then you will get all of the previous Modern Warfare 3 DLC packages for free. And then what will happen is you actually still get a year after that because it's paid within a year um, timeline. You'll actually get all of the next Call of Duty Elite um, stuff for free as well because I'm going to assume that they'll be using Call of Duty Elite for the next Call of Duty game as well. Hopefully it's structured a little bit better than this. Um, notice that they say and more with the hashtag and I mentioned earlier on in the video they said content release dates are subject to change. Hopefully they're still keeping a few things under their sleeve. Maybe, you know, I've mentioned new guns, I've mentioned new camos, I'm really disappointed that we haven't seen that yet. Um, honestly, they could have implemented this stuff in Call of Duty 4, they could have implemented new guns in Call of Duty 4, and I'm annoyed that they haven't implemented it now, later on in the Call of Duty life cycle, but there we go, this is all we have at the moment. Hopefully this has cleared it up, I know it's a bit confusing and it hasn't been explained too well, hopefully I'm bringing it to you guys a little bit more clearer than it would have been if you just went on this website randomly. Uh, you can check out this website and uh, charlieintel.com's website because uh, that website actually brought me the information for when the normal Xbox guys can get the first map pack which is March of course so cheers for them for bringing me that information I really appreciate it. You can click on screen now to check out both Piazza and Liberation multiplayer gameplay and I'll have both of those maps covered covered in uh, Spec Ops survival mode as well and I'll be covering part 2 of my bootleg survival mode very shortly as well so cheers for watching feel free to subscribe, click the like button if you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video